The word detox is out there a bunch. I think anywhere you turn, especially when a new year starts or after a holiday, everyone is talking about how best to detox. Well, here's the reality. Detoxification really should happen every single day. Our bodies are working for us, believe it or not, not against us. It's just sometimes what we expose it to that makes things a little tricky and a little wiry when it comes to detoxification. Well, I wanna break down detoxing and I also wanna talk about easy ways of detoxing. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be a 30-day routine if that's not what you're ready for and not what you want. Sometimes the best way to begin a conversation around detoxification is to start simple. Like this three-day detox I'm about to show you. But first, let's break down detoxing. I have lots of videos on detoxing, lots of great recipes. Check some of those out right here. But I want to break down just the nuts and bolts of detoxing. First of all, your body, like I said, is working for you. You have five main organs of detoxification. Those are your skin, your lymphatic system, your liver, your gut and your kidneys, and they're all filtering. Everything that we get exposed to, everything that the body's breaking down and needs to get rid of on a regular basis. But add in a whole lot of sitting, not moving around, eating not the healthiest foods, an environment that really exposes us to more chemicals and toxins than ever before. And a few habits like alcohol, maybe junk food, fatty foods, fried foods, you name it, you know what I'm talking about. Too many medications, too many supplements, and suddenly the body can't keep up. Even though those five organs are at play, can't keep up with what it needs to do to move everything on through. You wanna be able to have routines that you can come back to. So that's why we're gonna show you this quick and easy detox that I know you can do maybe once a month, a couple times a month, you get to decide, but at least you're doing something to keep your detox pathways open, keep the liver healthy, keep hormones balanced, and keep disease far, far away. So the way I like to start is starting your day, starting your morning with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water. You have about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar measured out here and within a glass of water, we're gonna pour it in directly. Apple cider vinegar does a couple of things to the body. First of all, it helps to lower the amount of yeast in the body or candida. It helps to reboot the liver and support blood sugar and insulin levels. It's also a gut cleanser. Now, I'm not advertising it as the best tasting beverage in the world, but again, when you dilute it like this, you can hardly tell it's there. So starting with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water is a great way to begin your three-day detox. Moving on from that, I know most of you like maybe a cup of tea, like me, or coffee first thing in the morning. We're gonna replace that with ginger tea. So maybe heat a kettle, warm it up. You can add fresh ginger into the kettle and boil it, or you can get a ginger tea bag, which is a shortcut. Put it in here, add your boiling water in here, and sip on ginger tea. Ginger provides the body with digestive enzymes. It also helps to move things through the gut. Oftentimes, we're simply not doing that because we're stressed, or we're busy, or the gut and the liver are having to do too much work. Then we don't produce the digestive enzymes we need, and it backs the entire gut-liver system up, making detoxification something that's very difficult to do. We can stop right there. If you don't wanna learn anymore, do anymore, at least do this. Apple cider vinegar in the morning, ginger tea first thing in the morning. You can sip on ginger tea throughout the day. And if that feels like enough to do, it's okay. At least you're doing something to help your body work for you. Now, for those of you who are ready to move on, let's get to the next step. Now we wanna wait maybe an hour or so after this routine and start with a protein smoothie first thing in the morning. The reason we're starting with protein is we want to get blood sugar levels humming along where they need to be right at the beginning of the day. When we do that, we have great energy, our brain fog clears, we are ready to tackle the world, and protein we know is important for muscle mass, for hormone balance, blood sugar levels, and so much more. I talk a lot about protein, check out my protein videos to help you pick good and bad proteins or understand what a protein source looks like, sounds like, and even the amount that you might need. All right, so usually what I do, two scoops of a protein powder, I blend it with frozen fruit, mix it up. You guys can have fun with this. You can add nut butters to it. You can add 
oat milk or coconut milk to it. You can add avocado or banana to it. Again, have fun with it, but this is your energy source that will hopefully last you at least three to four hours and give you about 20 to 25 grams of protein. Okay, so if you're scooting along your day, you're starting to get a little tired. Maybe by now you've had this protein smoothie by eight or nine o'clock in the morning. You're hitting 10 or 11. This happens to me all the time when I'm working and you're feeling that slump, right? A little bit of that energy crash. What can you do instead? I like doing a rice cake with a little bit of fat on it. So here I have ghee and I'm putting it directly on here. You can even toast the rice cakes if you like. Rice cakes are very low in calorie and they also aren't spiking your glycemic index or your blood sugar up very high. And then by adding in a little bit of ghee or coconut oil or even butter, quite honestly, you're getting some fats in to stabilize your energy, to keep your blood sugar stable, and also hopefully to help you feel energetic as you're going through this detox. You can reintroduce another one of these later on in the day if again, you're experiencing a lot of hunger or getting that slump. All right, we've hit roughly 11 o'clock or so in the morning. What are we doing next? We're introducing our green smoothie. Green smoothies, again, ideally I want you to keep the fiber, not a green juice, a green smoothie. That's gonna keep your energy up. It's gonna keep you feeling full, ideally throughout the day. So even if you're doing this around maybe one o'clock or so, two o'clock the latest, hopefully this gives you energy to last for the next few hours. So you see what we're doing here? We're taking out all the junk. There's no salt, there's no sugar, there's no fried or fatty foods, no meat as of yet. Not that I think meat is bad, but again, we're trying to rest the gut. That's the purpose of detoxification. And now we're headed into your evening meal. If you are hungry, reminder, between sort of this green smoothie and your evening meal, you can have another rice cake. That's okay to do. You can also have another protein smoothie if you're really struggling with hunger. Your last meal of the day should be loaded with vegetables. You can do salads, you can do lightly steamed vegetables, pick your favorites. There's nothing picky here. Again, a lot of great recipes here on this channel, check it out. And that hopefully will give you a few ideas. But the purpose of doing this for three days is to really take the work of digestion down to eliminate toxins, eliminate bacteria that are not working for you, reset the gut microbiome, making it healthier, bringing inflammation down, and hopefully leaving you feeling super energetic. All right, so this is just an easy, simple three-day detox to help you reset your health so that you can feel energetic and amazing and not have to overthink this. We don't wanna do things that are too difficult, so try this detox, any piece of it, let me know what you think. Remember, I post new videos every week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.